Hey guys, Luigi here from Project Gravitor. Really excited to show you guys what is coming up with our project. First is going to be the documentary film Lazar the Original Whistleblower, and following that is going to be our VR experience of S4. We've been working on this for two years, and we're really excited to show you how we did it and how we went about recreating the base alongside Bob Lazar. With him, we started using Unreal Engine 5 to recreate the entire S4 facility. Bob was there with us at every step, guiding us and telling us exactly how to build the facility of S4, where he was reverse engineering alien technology, the environment around that, which is the Papoose Mountain Range, Papoose Lake, all the way to Groom Lake, and everything that was inside the base. So the hangars, the nurse station, the briefing room, the propulsion lab, and obviously the craft, the sport model that he was privy to go in and research while he was there back in 88 and 89. Hi, my name is Christopher Matteau and I have the pleasure of bringing Bob's story to life using Unreal Engine 5. I would say working with Bob was a lengthy process, but in a good way. What that means is that there are so many smaller details that he would tell us about and then we would have to go back and repeat them. We would have to go back and change little things around and Bob would say, no, it wasn't exactly like that or the walls were slightly greener. The hardest thing uh, about creating the entire environment is perfecting the craft. That's because it's not something that I've ever seen before. Bob can sketch and draw and describe it all he wants, but at the end of the day, it's still alien technology, so bringing that to life was a very in-depth process with Bob. One of the most interesting aspects of this film is the steps that we took to actually putting Bob back in 1989. And what that means is we actually scanned his face, that's the first step that we did, and translated him into a metahuman. So we have now this 3D metahuman of current day Bob. Now, we also took the time to translate that and make a young, back then version of Bob Lazar to have him in our, in our film. So when you're seeing these recreations of his story, of his life, uh, you're going to have a fully realistic version of Bob during that time. Now the last thing that we're going to do to really immerse the audience into our film is uh, when Bob was here in Montreal, we filmed him on a green screen and we can actually pull that into Unreal and have him walk around in the environment uh, as if he was really there. And it's all live action. So you have this jump between this old 3D model of Bob, this young 3D model of Bob, and then live action Bob. And that just creates this all around really engaging experience for the audience.